I got a fish on. I gotta put you guys down. I think it's a bass. Oh my god, it just jumped out. Not in the weeds, not in the weeds. Okay, I still see him. He's still on. He's a huge boy. Holy. He's pulling me so hard. Like I said, this this is only this is like 12 pound test. Holy. This guy's a puller. Holy frick. He's gonna snap my line. I don't want that. Let me do the ancient technique, like I said, of pulling it in by hand. Oh, he's still on. He is still on. Ooh, this is a nice fish. God dang, bro. Bro, look at this guy. Let me put you down. Me. Ah, frick. Buddy, buddy, he's moving around. He's a rambunctious mother effer. Holy, it's a fat bass. Holy, he's moving. He's a flopper. He's a flopper. Okay, buddy, buddy, buddy. Let me put you in the water. Let me put you in the water. Bye, buddy. We'll catch you again at some point. That might be the same one from yesterday. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I feel bad that I dropped him, though. Like, whew. I never like dropping fish. Sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the camera quality. Like I said, I don't have a tripod. So, I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it by myself <laughs> now i just gotta find my line <laughs> okay put you guys back on the ground there's a bit of a weed monster on here all the bass love to go in the weeds to all you guys in the comments section on my on my youtube shorts Saying, why do I use gloves? It's because the bass in here, they keep on, they move a lot. They like, uh, they move a crap ton. They like shake. And I don't like when they rip up my fingers. But this time I did it by hand, so you guys can shut up. There's a lot of weeds on here. Okay. There's the live bait rod. I need to grab the other rod for bread. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I'm using for catching bluegill. And then I string them on this one. This is light action. That's a uh, medium action. So you just grab a little piece of bread. And just ball it up to a bit of a bread ball. <laughs> grab a God dang it. <laughs> Grab a hook. And you just put the bread ball into the hook. And you just kind of mold the bread ball around it. See if we catch a bluegill to get another bass. Throw that out there. Nope, they stole my bread. Okay, we just reel in. We get another piece of bread to throw out there. I think I need a bit of a smaller piece of bread. I kind of put on a huge piece that time. Just grab my bread.
Let me just put you guys down. Kind of just sight fishing because the water here is pretty clear. And you can just see a bunch of bluegill. And every so often you see some big bass. God dang it, they keep, they, for some reason they never bite the bread when I want them to bite it. There's a lot of turtles over here. This bread, it just keeps sinking because there's weights on it, so I'm going to grab a bobber. God dang, why is this bobber all tied up in this one rod? Oh shoot, there's crap all over the camera. Woo! <laughs> yeah, but that was a nice bass that I just got a bit ago. It's a pretty good guy. Like I said, it might be, it honestly might be the same one that I caught yesterday, but. God dang, this bobber is like tight on here. Okay. There you go. Shoot. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a tripod, so <laughs> my, the camera quality is not going to be 100%. It's going to be like more like a, maybe like 30% gonna be pretty bad but hey what the what the frick is up with this <laughs> there we go. I gotta lay you guys back on the floor again man I don't like this okay I think I got something let me put you guys down Frick, why won't the bluegill bite the bread? They'll bite it every single time we use it, just not today. Okay, we got some. Okay, that's actually a pretty good size for a bait. Ooh, it has really cool colors too. It's kind of like a, kind of got like crappie spots on it. We get this little guy off the hook and then we throw it on my bigger rod. God dang it, this guy keeps moving. This isn't quite a fishing pond, so I wouldn't like say the fish are used to people too much. I do fish here a lot, so maybe they're used to me, but yeah. Got the little bluegill on. Yeah. Put you guys back down so I can cast it out there. <laughs> like I said, sorry about the camera quality. It's not going to be as good today because I don't have another person with me right now to... Oh, I think we just got some. Or no, it just got... <laughs> the bluegill just got stuck in the reeds. I think something striked at it, though. Holy frick, this is a monster of weeds. <laughs> Get him out. Steer him in the direction. 
of where I see the bass. <laughs> Holy frick, this fish keeps going into the weeds. Let me go back to where I caught that other bass. I think I can hold you guys now. I'll just kind of aim it. Hopefully this comes out actually good and it doesn't just... <laughs> the video doesn't come out looking like crap. <laughs> I need to invest in a better camera or a tripod or something. He's kind of moving around. He's not really moving too much, but he's still alive. I might prop this up against the... Uh, or put this rod down. So one sec, let me just get a bobber and then... Throw the fish on a bobber. Go and grab the bobber. There it is. Now that the bluegill has kind of calmed down, it's not moving around as much, it's gonna, I'm gonna be able to put the bobber on it. That was a bad cast. <laughs> I want it like in the middle near the side of the reeds, because otherwise the bass will come out to get the fish, but they won't, uh, the fish won't get caught in the reeds as much. So yeah. I think this won't catch anything because the bass that kind of went away. So I'm gonna just let this little guy go and then I'm gonna stop the video. So, what's up? Let me just get this little guy back. He's still alive, he's still moving. He's just kind of, the bass are just kind of going away because it's really, it's really sunny out. <laughs> yeah, most of the bass are hiding in the reeds right now because it's really sunny out.
Bye, little boy. See, he's swimming away. He's fine. So, bye.